I'm Melissa from Northline Express and in today's video I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for cleaning a Class A or metal flue chimney. First I want to start by talking about the brush that you use to clean your chimney. When cleaning a Class A chimney you want to make sure that you're using a poly bristle brush. You don't want to use the metal bristle brushes even though they may seem like they'll do the job better because those metal bristles are actually going to scrape down on the inside of your chimney leaving grooves which are actually going to make creosote build up. So make sure when choosing your chimney brush you choose a poly bristle brush. It's going to get the job done well but without leaving behind the scratches and making the creosote build up worse. Now when choosing your rods for your chimney, it's important to know that you are going to have the right amount. In fact, it's better to have a little bit more than not enough when you get up here and start the job. So here's a tip for you. Grab a piece of rope, and grab a long piece of rope, and make sure that you're guesstimating it's more than what you've got. Drop that piece of rope down inside your flue. When you get to the bottom, it's also good to have someone on the inside letting you know that you're for sure at the bottom. Mark that, you can tie a knot or just pinch it with your fingers. Pull that rope section back out and measure that. That's a great easy way for you to estimate about how much length of rod you're going to need for your chimney. Now that you know the length of your chimney, it's time to choose the rods to go with the brush to use while cleaning your chimney. Now when you're doing this, there's a bunch of different types of rods to choose from. Different lengths, different ends, different types of materials that the rods are constructed of. But there's two main types to consider. If you've got a straight chimney, use fiberglass rods. They're going to be stiffer, more durable, they've got a little bit of give to them, but they're not going to be very flexible and you don't have to worry about that with a straight chimney. So the fiberglass rods will work. That's going to leave you just deciding the lengths that you need to use. Fiberglass rods work well for top down. They also are going to work good from cleaning anything that is going to involve less than a 45 degree bend. Now if you've got, you want to clean from the bottom up or you've got a bend in your chimney, it's going to be best to use a poly rod. They're much more flexible, they can handle those 45 degree bends, they're going to be more appropriate for that. When it comes to choosing the ends of your rods, it's simply a matter of what you have as far as a brush. There's two main types. There's going to be threaded NPT and a quarter inch or three eighths. And then there's also going to be connection types like the quick lock, button adapters, the button lock, and then the torque lock adapters. The real main difference here is are you going to screw them in or are you going to snap them together? And that just depends on your preference. Now if you're like me and you're cleaning your chimney once or twice a year, you don't worry about having to be up there threading it together. But if you're cleaning much more frequently or you're cleaning multiple flues, it could become tedious to screw and unscrew and that's where those button lock or torque connections do come in handy. But do make sure the most important part here is whatever brush you buy, make sure that you get a rod or an adapter that's going to allow the connection between those two pieces because it's very frustrating to get up here and realize what you've got is not going to work. So once you've chose your, your rods, you've got the length that you're going to need, also, you want to make sure you're choosing the right size chimney brush. Now with the Class A chimneys, it's a little less complicated than the oval or the rectangular flues. It's basically usually going to be round with a metal flue or Class A chimney. There's a couple from 5 to 8 inch diameters are going to be your most common, with 6 inch and 8 inch being the most frequently seen out there in the industry. 6 inch chimneys are usually going to use a 6 inch round brush. 8 inch chimneys are usually going to use an 8 inch round brush. But to be double sure, the simple way to do it would be to measure the inside diameter of your pipe and use that to determine which brush you get. Remember, you don't want a brush too big because it's going to be too hard to get down there while you do want a tight fit. You don't want a brush that you can't remove. And you don't want a brush that's going to fit down in there and not touch the sides because that's going to defeat the purpose of the cleaning altogether. And our final note here. It's going to be something to think about for the inside of your house when you're cleaning your chimney. With a fireplace, usually you are going to just cover off your fireplace opening and allow all the debris that you knock out of your chimney to fall down in and you'll clean it up afterwards. But pay attention to your wood stove. If you've got a wood stove that's got baffling in the top of it because it's EPA certified, that's part of your reburn system. Most of them are going to be that way. So if you do let everything just fall back down in there, you're going to run into all of that creosote, all of that debris building up inside your wood stove. It's not recommended. And it actually can be avoided very simply, two ways. If you use a telescoping piece of pipe, simply lift up your telescoping section, place a bucket underneath, let that telescoping length fall back into place. That bucket is going to act as a collection source for all the debris and the creosote you knock out of your chimney. Should you not have telescoping sections, that's okay, we can still make this happen. Simply remove each of your stovepipe sections, set those aside, outside is recommended because they are going to be dirty. 
at your connection at the top where your ceiling is and your, that's where your stove pipe is going to meet your chimney pipe. There should be a ceiling support there. What you could also do after you've got your stove pipe removed is take a bag, tape something around, tape that bag up around there and allow that bag to, at the ceiling, act as a catcher for all of the creosote and debris you knock out of your chimney. If you follow these tips and tricks to get the right brush, the right rods, and clean your chimney without making a giant mess inside your home, it's a project that any homeowner that's a DIY lover can absolutely do. Make sure that you're cleaning enough, you're cleaning before you burn, and you're again at the end of the season after you burn before you put it away, so to speak. I hope you found this information helpful, but if you've got questions about chimney cleaning, give us a call at 866-667-8454. At Northland Express, home of the buy and try satisfaction guarantee, we're always happy to help.